Welcome everybody to another episode of City Skylines Unmodded with me, Iflux. Look at this! Look at this! In the previous episode, we created this awesome um, self-sufficient building residential area. And we have here a um, small little issue. <laughs> I, I did leave this as a placeholder, but I didn't connect this to the highway. So cars are going back and forth. And this is how they access this area. <laughs> I have to go all the way here. Well, at least they can access it. So, on this episode, we are going to keep developing this area. Oh, this view is so cool. Look at this. <gasps> what is this? I cannot see what this is. How can I? I can. Okay. Slowly but surely we're going to get there. Oh, th these maps. Look at the detail. Oh, how cool is this? How cool is this? I don't know who made this map. Oh, probably the game developers because I don't have any mods running, so... But I might have custom... No, this is not a custom map. This is a map that comes with the game. Wow, this is awesome. Wow, this is beautiful. I was actually thinking... To create, um, we to create um, some stuff in these islands with some pathways, like wooden pathways connecting the islands. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure because if we could unlock this tile, it would be good. I would definitely create something like this. But uh, yeah, I might still create at least one or two, maybe here and here. It might look good. But anyway, I digress. So the purpose is to... Sorry, I got this start. Is this one? <laughs> it's like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, this is the one that's not connected. Um, so the purpose of this episode is to expand this area, like I, I mentioned previously. And let's start with this uh, junction. I was looking for the one. So the way I'd like to do this is by simply... Can I? I can. Oh, but it isn't aligned. Why aren't you aligning? Oh, then I need to put a normal road, yeah. So what I normally do is I just plop a normal road. And the reason why I do this is because it aligns better. With um, it's uh, with the highway is more parallel than the other tool I was using. And this is kind of how I normally do these um, intersections, these junctions. I just go all the way until they shift the um, the slope direction and then I do kind of the same like this. Mm, it's a bit too close but it will do. Yeah. Okay, this will do. And I try to make sure they have the same uh, cost. You see construction cost? It basically is how I benchmark the size of these roads. It's just a guideline, basically. Using the cost as a guideline is, is one of the tricks that uh, most Skyline players, Skyline City Skylines players use. And it's definitely one of my favorites. Uh, now this is an off-ramp, this is an on-ramp way. Okay, this is an off-ramp. And this is an on-ramp. Okay, now the sims can access this with no issues, right guys? Let's see. Yeah, they're already using it. Oh, but this is not a one-way road. <laughs> so it has traffic lights. Let's fix this immediately. Where is the one-way road? Here it is. It's Oops. God damn it. Okay. Let's continue with the upgrade. This, this, and this. Let's see if this all goes the same direction. No, this one didn't. And this one also didn't. Okay. Yep, now it should work perfectly. Let's just take a look to see how the traffic will flow around here. Yeah, it's flowing nicely. Okay. 
Uh, is anyone crossing this village? Uh, no, why would it? Why would they? Okay, let's take a quick look here at the traffic situation. Well, although this this is not very much developed, this is still quite busy around here. Yep. Okay. Now let's some more stuff. So we were doing identity. Yeah, let's put some more identity. Oh, I wanted to check if we if the commercial buildings they create noise pollution and they don't, which is awesome. This is perfect. These buildings are quite small. Although they are high density commercial, they're still quite small. I think it's time to pause the game and delete these power cables over here. Yeah, power is still connected. Yeah, that's fine. And now let's put high density commercial around the main avenue. Oh, this one doesn't have a lot of connections. I think it should be okay. I will put, however, a path connecting the avenue with the inner roads. Yeah, looks good. And now there's a lot of demand for it. commercial. Okay, here you go, guys. Enjoy. Oh, and we'll, I'm going to unpause this to let this develop. In the meantime, I didn't create um, a train station here. I mean, a stop train line okay first time the charm okay so I would I would probably extend this if I don't mess this up so to here and then yep so now we have two stops one on each direction and the last stop will be here and now let's take a look and let's see if people are going to start arriving or not. We have one person, welcome, citizen. Where did you go? Oh, wow, a lot of people, okay. The first citizen is going on the bus. Okay, I'm going to follow him. I want to see where he's going. Aha, pause. You are going to. Oh, it's a guard. <laughs> it's a guard at the multi platform train station. Oh! What? Going to con resize at Crest Vessels. Wow. So he lives here, he works here, and he's going there. Wow. <laughs> that's a lot of traveling right there okay but it's good it means our public transport system is is working let's unpause this again nice and we have demand for industry you know what that means we will focus a bit on our forestry industry so we have a two-star forestry industry which means we can now put more buildings oh wow, this is uh, big this is a big building. Uh, would I put it here? Mm, not really. Is there a road here? No, but probably there will be. Where am I going to put the workers' barracks? I didn't want to destroy these rocks, but I might have to. I might have to. Where is a bus stop? Yeah, where is a bus stop? Ideally I want to put the workers barracks next to a place where buses stop. So they can easily move around. But I don't see it. Maybe it helps if I put this overlay. Okay. I guess on this side. Here. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Where is it? Here, I'm going to put right here. 
and now it's a bit far so it won't have electricity but I'm going to pause this a little bit so we can put more do we have saplings? I think we do more buildings oh we can't put more buildings maybe these saps or whatever this is yeah let's put a few of these Okay, and we already have a sawmill, right? I think we have a sawmill. We don't have a sawmill. We have a sawmill, yes. Here it is. And what is this? Biomass. Uh, ah, produces paper. Okay, how big is this? Oh, this would fit here so well. Mm -mm -mm. But I, I would destroy these parts. Which is something I really, really don't want to do. Ah, you're not good here, Samuel. You are really not good here. So I need to move you here. And let's put some, of, some more of these things here. Okay, yeah this should be okay, and now, what is this, so the storage, more storage, we don't need more storage, we need to produce more stuff, that's what we need, so the biomass will now fit somewhere here, almost, aha, it will fit here, yeah this looks good. Okay, this looks weird, this slope. It's okay, with the trees nobody will notice. Yeah, okay, let's unpause this. So we need to produce a lot of trees. Yeah, and we just reached level three. Okay, medium, medium tree plantation. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, okay. Let's do that. Where is the medium tree plantation? Here it is. Okay. Let's see how big this is. Quite big actually. But this will do. Okay, maybe I need to destroy these rocks because this is just too perfect. Back. And now I can put some small ones. Here. Maybe I can put another small one here. Can I squeeze one? Ah, just one. One little square missing. And I'm going to do the same here. Okay, this really isn't optimized space. But I think it's still okay. okay I don't like these trees. Conifer. Alder. Yeah, let's go with the alders. This looks a bit weird. Greenhouse. Field. Yeah, field. Let's go with the field. Okay, it's not too bad. Maybe I need to readjust this actually. Yeah, I'm going to destroy these parts because I can just put another one of these here and here. And now if I just adjust this. Maybe I can actually squeeze in one more. Oh, if I could squeeze in, oh, I can, but then I don't have any more space. Ah. Ah, okay, I cannot do this because then I cannot put the parts. Yes, so... Hmm. Yeah, okay, it's fine. It is fine. Because what I can do... Is just really make this... Connect to here, and then, oops, and then just connect to here. Why does it go underground? Weird. I just do one. 
page down and it goes underground. Then I do page up and then it does what I... Okay, no, it didn't do it. Okay, better. Much better. I might... Hmm. I don't know what I'm going to do with these blank spots. I really don't know what I'm going to do. But I know I'm going to fill up this with some more roads. Maybe it should be dirt roads. Yeah, I'm going to put some dirt roads here. Just to fill up this space a bit. And then here, since this is a worker's barracks, I can put some parking lots. Unless we have a very thin one that fits here. No, it does not fit there. Yeah, it does not fit there. But it almost fits here. Shall I build a lot of them here? Okay, I'm not going to build a lot, but I'm going to build a few. Yeah. This is going to be a massive forestry area. <laughs> oh yes, it will. Uh, let's continue putting some more of these things here and here. Okay. This, sh this should be enough. And actually, I want to put a path to connect this here. Of course, if they want to come to this side, can I? Can I do something like this, where I just... Oh yes, it creates a wooden path, nice. I've never done this actually. Yeah, let's create a wooden path. Okay, they can cross the road because there's no road crossings here. So this way they can cross the road and then they have to walk all the way here. Okay, this should be plenty of raw resources, okay guys? You are complaining? Oh wow, already? <laughs> this is leveling up quite fast. Uh, okay, engineered wood, plant, soft paper, large tree sampling. Yeah, let's put the large stuff. Uh, which is this one. Large tree plantation is the last one, okay. Is there somewhere I can squeeze this in? Doesn't look like it. No. Oh, I could. I can. Here. No, almost because of the power line. But I could do something like this and something like this. Almost. Almost, but not quite. This seems like a bit of a waste of space. Yeah, the way I designed this, it's a bit of a waste of space. But it's okay. It should be okay. If we need to tweak this space later, I will obviously do... And no, we're already on <laughs> level 5. This was the fastest level up ever. I've never, never experienced this. But okay, I'm not going to complain. At least not anymore. So what I was I doing? I was pop plopping. Oh, and I can plop this large tea plantation. Let's see. Ooh, it's quite large. So I can put one on each side of this row. I don't want palm trees. A uh, beach. Yeah, let's go with a beach. Okay. And then I can fill these spaces with something. Oh, I can try to do... Yeah, let me try to optimize this a bit. If I do something like this, and then like... Oh, doesn't, don't snap. Can I squeeze in something? Can I... It has to be a smaller one. Not this. And this. Oh, I can. Perfect. Okay, it doesn't look too bad. Now I can put more of these around here. Maybe this one. Yeah, I'll continue doing this here. Ah! Just one square off. Okay. 
Ah, it looks weird. Mm. It looks weird, doesn't it? I might disguise this with more trees. Because this is plenty, I think, of raw material. Look how many trucks are here. You're still complaining? Really? So I can make timber and paper. And let's see what other stuff we can make. Forestry maintenance building, yep, that needs to happen. Of course I cannot fit it here. Because these buildings are so big. Yeah, this is not good. This is not good. Let's see if I can squeeze this one here. I can. Okay. Yeah, making this a diagonal instead of a, a square creates these um, non standard shapes. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Okay, let's see what other buildings we can put around here. So some mill is done, biomass plant is done, engineering wood plant. So, but they're already producing timber. So this produces more timber, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> okay, this is a smaller building. This might fit. This might fit. Uh, so close and yet so far. Okay, I can definitely squeeze this one here. Yeah, if I do something like this. But without actually connecting it to that road. I can. I can't! Well, I can if I put this road a bit more to the far side. Yeah, if I do it like this, I should be able to. Come on game, let me do what I want, yes. Yes, and actually what I can do is also connect this to that road. Okay. Decent. Oh, really? Uh, do I need to put some kind of fire policy thing here or what? Actually, I don't think we have a fire station here, do we? We do not. Okay, that's, that's uh, an excuse to put in some buildings around here, filling in these gaps. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, actually. I mean, I'm putting a lot of them because... Oh, if this squeeze... Oh, I could squeeze this here. But I can't hear. Obviously, this is a forestry area, so it needs a lot of protection. <laughs> I, might, I might have exaggerated a little bit. <laughs> but hey, more is better than less when it comes to safety, I guess. What else do we have here? Pump mill. Of course, it has to be a huge building. Oh, but this one will fit right here. And immediately we have a lot of traffic. So this makes paper, yeah. So we have two buildings making paper and two buildings making timber. Yeah. Any more buildings? This is storage. Okay, I will put one more storage building. Oh. This is a small one. I might be able to fit it in. I am! Yay! Okay. Okay, it doesn't look too bad. This was like super fast expansion. Holy crap. It's super... F oh, I need to put some police buildings as well. Uh, yeah. If I can squeeze it in here somewhere. Come on. Here, perfect. And now maybe just another one here, and another one here. Yeah. Okay, 
And I think later I'll fill in the gaps with uh, trees that look similar to these. Let me try actually. Let's see if this is going to work. Okay, this is very small tree. First let's delete these ugly palm trees. Well, they're not ugly, they just don't fit this thing very well. And this one small, this, okay. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Put a bunch of trees in a row to disguise these empty spaces. Trees are so good to disguise these things. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. And yeah, later I will come here and do and do it all. All the fill up all the blank spaces. For now I'm just going to fill these spaces over here. Uh, is this the tree I was using? Yeah, I think it was. Okay. Oh, this space as well. And... It's done. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fill in these spaces. Shall I do it now? Since I'm doing this, it's not too much work. I'll just do a quick time lapse and I'll fill all of this with with trees, but before I just want to confirm there's no other buildings to put here. Now I already placed all of them. What is this? Yeah. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'll be right back. Okay, that's enough trees. Oh, my eyes sockets are burning <laughs> of staring at these trees and clicking and staring and clicking. Uh, it's these moments that I miss miss the, the mods a bit. But uh, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. So let's take a quick look at what we are producing. Okay, we still don't seem to have... Sorry, a lot of... Um, raw products okay we have enough it seems i guess the uh, storage facilities are filling up let's take uh, an overview of how things are going paper not producing a lot I only have, I have two buildings each. Why are you complaining? This should be filling up. Hmm. Maybe it takes longer. Oh, maybe it's a workers thing. No, I, I must have all the workers. So I need to put even more trees. Hmm, I might. Why not? Yeah, it should still fit here. Okay, I can do something like this and something... Ah, just one square. Am I going to destroy this? I'm not, I'm sorry. I'm not going to destroy that. So I'm going to put as close as I can yeah, here. And then I'm going to build a road, a dirt road, kind of like here and hopefully I can squeeze in two of these uh, plantations. I 
see I can put one definitely here and uh, of course I can't I can't squeeze it in. okay ah. and here can I squeeze one here no I can't no where else can I squeeze I can try to create a road and build something here but uh, not not too interested in that I could maybe no I can't okay I have some yeah I couldn't potentially use this space to put more but come on guys so many trees and we don't produce enough this already complaining where is the other paper factory I think it's this one Oh, this is plant timber so here is one and where did I put the other? oh it's here hmm okay I just let their game run for a little bit maybe it will balance itself out oh wow we are almost at 100k I didn't even notice so while we were developing the forestry area we were actually developing or growing in terms of citizens as well. Nice. Okay, so now we only need 50k. Yeah, we will definitely be able to achieve that. If only this little piece was like 10k. Yeah, probably here another 10, 10, 10. Yeah, just this side enough alone, should I say, will be like 50k. And then here we can make a, a posh area. I have a message that the cemetery is full. Let's take a quick look at the messages on the horizon. Okay, I see one there. I see one there. Oh, talking about cemeteries, I don't think I've plopped any here. No, I haven't. And now it's a good time to do it because if I don't do it, I will forget. Okay. I'm going to put a path just to create a visual separation between these buildings and the normal buildings that I'm going to zone right now. Yes. Since we have a bit of demand for commercial, that's what I'm going to do. And although these are high density commercial buildings, they are quite small. They are quite small. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I need to put uh, more ways of transportation around here. Wow, this is just massive. How many people is this? A hundred and something. Okay, we've had worse. I've actually, I haven't looked at the transport utilization for quite a while. So it might have some really chaotic stuff going on on our main city over here oh i see another message uh, let me look at the horizon to see if i see another oh i see another one here a lot of people dying i guess but i'm happy to see we have ninety-five thousand people And this should be, oops, I mean this should be okay. Why oh, are you having criminal activity here if there's a police station right here? Do I need to put the police station right in front of you? Oh, here it would be perfect. Do I need these power cables? Probably don't need these power cables. Do I need those power cables? I don't need those power cables. Nah. I might... Uh, hmm. I might just connect this here just in case. Yeah, but I, I don't think I, I would need that. Okay. Now I'm going to zone more high density here. 
And I think that's that. Oh, something I want to do. Parks. And I can put a playground kind of in this empty space. Or can I? What about this building? Too big. And this building's too small. And I don't know what this is. Okay, they're not going to find out. So I think a parking, a parking, a playground will be good here. Sorry guys. Yeah. How are we in terms of leveling up? Okay, almost level. I need anything, Krista. Land value, yeah. When I build a zoo here, and the land value is going to increase massively. Pretty sure of it. Shall I put some offices? There's a lot of demand for industry, and I already developed this industrial area quite a bit. So I'm going to put a few offices here. Oh, and I don't need these power lines here, do I? I mean, I probably would need to connect. Oh, okay, I know what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm going to connect this to right, like, yeah, like this. And then I don't need this anymore. Yeah, I can leave those. Okay, this way I can just zone this stuff here. Put a bit more offices and put a bit more high density residential as well. I should probably put a park here actually. Can I put one of the big ones? No, I cannot. I can put one of the small ones. I can put a playground here and a doggy park. Yeah, here. And then I can put some nice path connecting all of this. With some kind of curves. Doesn't look too weird. Only a little bit weird. Let's delete these palm trees. And put some nicer trees. Which will be this? Yes. It matches the other trees in the actual parks. And this will be a nice place for our citizens to come. And relax and enjoy because this is a green the green city the green part of the city is this so it should have a lot of green stuff okay this should also be filled with trees okay doesn't look too bad and it will raise the land value as well Let's sound a bit more. And I want to create a separation here. Yep, and I can put some parking lots behind the school. I think it makes sense. How many can I fit to? Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Does the school generate noise? I guess it does. Hmm, not really. Okay, not going to complain. density residential nice how many people do we have using this okay quite a lot nice yeah nice one I'd like to see so much people yeah definitely need to put some more public transport options around here mostly metro and subway <laughs> depending which part of the world you are I use both like motorway and highway and stuff like that because i've I, although i live in the uk I, I, i'm exposed or i was exposed as a kid and i still am a lot to american culture so my vocabulary gets it's a bit confused plus it's not also my native language so that doesn't help but i hope uh, you guys can still understand what i say 
It's not looking too bad. I really like it. It's quite big, although it's only nine tiles. But it's such a decent size, look at this. This is a huge city, a hundred thousand almost. Look at here, look here. Look here where the mouse cursor is. The more I zoom out, there are some uh, parts become visible, blue parts, and then I zoom in, they disappear. <laughs> yeah, some minor graphical glitches of this game, but overall, it's a beautiful game. Yeah, so this area became quite busy, but it's flowing. Let's just take a quick look at the traffic. Yeah, we're still above 80, which that's, which for me is that. It's a target. Yeah, we might need to improve some stuff around here. It's a lot of red bits around the city. To be expected, but also I think I'll be able to improve this. Okay. I think that's it for this episode, guys. Although the <laughs> initial plan was to develop this area, uh, which we kind of did, but we ended up um, completing this um, forestry industry area and leveling, leveling it all up to five stars. Which is a two in one. Two in one. Two birds with one stone. Nice. And I think that's it for today, guys. I think uh, this was very good progress. We leveled this up to five stars because we had a lot of industrial demand and it seems to keep growing not so much residential which is a bit weird but anyway we did this and we still developed this uh, a bit and uh, i guess i need to put some more of these buildings these sounds i should say yeah this city is developing quite nicely I think we are not too far away from... Oh god. <laughs> it's burning. <laughs> oh, that was fast. Nice work, guys. Nice work, fire department. But uh, yeah, it's been a very productive episode. Really liking this new part of the city. I hope you guys are enjoying too. And I will see you on the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.